So Kevin Feige came out and said that not every character from Phase 4 will make it to the Marvel Adventure films. I'm surprised by all of those fan favorites we got, like Echo and Miss Marvel. Yes, Kevin Feige came out and told people over at Gizmodo that not every character from Phase 4 will be able to make it to the big screen. Now, that being said, he was going around doing a tour for the upcoming Deadpool movie, where, uh, to me at least, it seems that he put his foot in his mouth. Not surprising there either that Kevin Feige would go out and try to sabotage a film where he had very little to do with. If Avengers Affinity War is a 9 and Avengers Endgame is a 10, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige tells io9 that Deadpool and Wolverine is an 8 in terms of how impactful it will be on the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Screw you, Kevin Feige. That means there's a very good chance whatever happens in theaters next week will carry over to Avengers 5 and 6, which are coming in 2026 and 2027. But not everything that's happened in the MCU in recent years will play a role on the occasion of Deadpool and Wolverine. io9 asked Feige about the many, many characters that debuted in Phase 4. Can fans expect to see them in the upcoming adventure movies, or is there a chance we may not see some of them ever again? So if you ask me, there are quite a few characters that I believe you will never see again because they just didn't resonate. Actually, I'm trying to think back. Have any of the shows resonated since? Well, that's not entirely true. I did want and hoped that WandaVision would have been, or turned out, actually good. I watched every episode like many of you did, theorizing what could be for, in the end, it to turn out to be all Wanda being a complete and utter bitch. Honestly. But who cares about Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Who cares about Loki? Who cares about the What If series? Who cares about Shang-Chi, the Internals? Moon Knight turned out to be bullshit. Hawkeye, as I said, I kind of enjoyed. For the most part, they were my, I had issues with it. But for the most part, I kind of enjoyed that one. The last movie I have actually seen or went out to the theaters to watch was Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. I liked Doctor Strange until I watched that movie. Holy crap! That completely destroyed it for me. Miss Marvel, nobody cared about. I still haven't seen Thor Love and Thunder. She-Hulk. It's one that I, I'm glad that I was not making YouTube videos at the time and tortured myself with that show. The one short that I did enjoy watching was the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. That was funny, especially with Kevin Bacon. I didn't watch Secret Invasion, Quantumania. Who needs that? The Marvels. I'm glad that I stayed away from that. Uh, though Echo... I was forced to watch, and I did watch it all, and oh lord, was it bad. Kevin Feige continued to say, I never talk in absolutes like that. But the truth is, you know, we're going to tell a story in these Avengers movies, and there won't be room for 100,000 characters in it. So choices will have to be made. That's for sure, but that doesn't mean you won't ever see anybody ever again. Phase 4 famously introduced a ton of new characters that, for the majority, were all shit. 
I'm sorry I have to point that out, but it included Eternals, Shang Chi, Moon Knight, She Hawk, Miss Marvel, and many more. From the interview, it does sound like Kevin Feige was hinting that there was going to be more news this coming week at San Diego Comic Con. So by then, we might know just who will be in the Avenger movies. Now, Kevin Feige going out and saying that the Deadpool and Wolverine movie is only an eight compared to his movies sounds like he's a little bit salty that he didn't have creative control over it. Ryan Reynolds, the main guy here, is making a good movie. It looks like it could be fun. We will have to see once it is out. But the fact of the matter is a lot of people will go to the theater to watch Deadpool and Wolverine. That all being said, of course, it is it comes to no surprise that the future of Marvel will be cutting out a lot of the characters that came on in phase four. Phase four that nobody really enjoyed. There might be a character here, there might be a character there, there might be a piece of chocolate here. But sifting through all of that shit just to find one piece of chocolate chip. That's like me going through the Acolyte. Looking for something that was maybe okay. Anyway, thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of Kevin Feige's statement, his interview, and if we will be getting more next week at Comic-Con. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give me a thumbs down because whatever floats your boat, right? But do consider to subscribe to the channel and if you do hit the bell for notifications because that is the only way that YouTube knows you are interested in my videos. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and until next time, take care.